you're only six years. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of JY Throws. I'm super excited to get into things today because pretty much since I began throwing, I've had a problem finding a good release on my throw. And in my last couple of practices, I've really been starting to feel some solutions to that problem for the first time in over a decade. So I wanna start things off today with a bit of a story and explain to you guys where I think the problem might have come from and what my solution to the problem is. So I began throwing discus my first year of high school. And in Canada, we threw the 1K discus for our first and second year of high school. So for my first two years of learning how to throw discus, I just had the small 1K discus that when I'd wind back, it could go absolutely anywhere. And as long as I got to the finish and my feet were on the ground, I could just whip the discus on the finish and it would go down the middle and get a decent flight. And for two years, I trained with pretty much only that 1K discus. And ever since then, when I went up to the 1.5K discus, the 1.6K, 1.75, I've never really had a good, powerful finish. Yeah. Okay. Right. What's up, everybody? It's Jordan. <laughs> Starting off today with some picking, just trying to go nice and easy, trying to feel from literally the discus back here, just a straight path, nice and straight, just feel it in my hand, and uh, really keep it in line with my shoulder. I don't want to wind back, let it miss my shoulder, and then I'm dragging it. Just right here, nice and easy. Wind back from here to here is where I'm actually nice and powerful. So I want to optimize that position and be patient until I get there. So the difference of feeling like I'm dragging the dip into the finish versus here and actually slapping with it is when I feel like I get my good throws and my bad throws. So I just need to continue to find consistency where I get that nice slap feeling. So the same way my stand throws, I'm trying to find that good, powerful position to hit it. I can set that same powerful position up right away in the wind. So then when I get to my stand throw position, it's already there, ready to go. So as I've been winding back, I've been finding trying to stop it here. And then from here, continue with my body. And then on the way out, keep the shoulder here the whole time. And it's just rotating around this pivot side. And going to the middle, I'm just trying to send it up a bit. And from here, I'm in a position that I can just... but I've been really liking this feeling of just trying to stop it in a good position. So that if I was in a stand throw from there, I can hit it and continuing it all the way nice and wide around my right side. And go, as I'm going to the middle, trying to get the discus ahead of me and send that up to the middle of it. So I want to kind of show you guys quickly what typically happens in a throw of mine. Like as I'd wind back, instead of trying to keep the discus with my shoulder, it would keep going and get low. And from here, I got to come all the way around. By the time I'm in my power position, the discus is still too far behind. So I can't throw it straight well without having to come out early.
Uh, wrapping up practice with some easy right-handed throws just to keep the body nice and balanced and also help me feel some good positions. Alright guys, I'm going to wrap this video up here. I'm super pleased how things are feeling in discus right now. I don't think I've ever had throws where I'm this consistent on the finish. Actually getting the discus to fly and pretty much all of my throws I've always had the disc go up and come crashing down. But now I'm actually starting to see it come out and it wobbles and then flips back the other way. So I'm actually getting a full flight of the discus which is going to help add some distance. So I'm super happy how that's going. And I just need to continue to get thousands of throws, lock it in my muscle memory and get really consistent with it. So once I get to a meet, I've got adrenaline and I start going faster. Everything stays together technically so I can get some really big throws. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and if you really enjoyed it, subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the next one.